Let's talk about the Elm REPL. The Elm REPL is a place for you to code basic Elm. And it's somewhat functional in that it doesn't really be strict types. Notice that it says number, it doesn't say int or float. So if you want to add a float to an int, which you're not allowed to do in Elm, you can do in the REPL because it just will do its best to coerce what you're probably meant to do. I go 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1, then it does float-based math, for example. But if it looks like an int, it might be an int, I guess. I don't know. Same for strings. If you want to say hello, I don't know how to spell hello, Jesse. Plus plus to concatenate strings in Elm. Yo, we already have a space. Then you can concatenate strings. You can also do the same with lists. Sup, man, homie. Oh, forgot a comma. G. Now notice I'm using double quotes. That is what's required for strings in Elm. If you want to do something called cars, that is a single quote. So A, just a basic car. And so that's a car versus this, which is a string. We can also create basic functions, which is a lot of times what you'll do to play around with code you think might work. So add A plus B is A plus B. And it'll do its best to infer the type without supporting real hardcore types like ints and floats, for example. So if we go add, one and three, we should get back four. So basic functions work as well in element two in the REPL. That's how you use the basic REPL, play around. Again, you do colon exit to get out.